Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Daily with Bailey. Today we're talking about a little thing called PlayStation Home and it's shut down. So, if you don't know what PlayStation Home is, it was this kind of second life kind of thing they were trying to make with PlayStation. If you don't know what Second Life is, it's basically a video game on PC that is essentially a Second Life. You get a job, you meet people. It's basically a giant social experiment for people to get together, talk to each other, stuff like that. But with PlayStation, it was a place you could get together, talk to other people, play games and have fun, and maybe play other games like meet in there and then go, hey, do you want to go play Call of Duty? And then they go, yeah, sure, okay, and then you go into the game. But it never really panned out. Um, PlayStation Home never really panned out. And I'm pretty sure it never came out of beta. It was in beta the entire time it was on the PlayStation 3. There wasn't one time where it was out of beta. It constantly said beta or alpha. It was never done. And it kind of seemed they just, it just seemed like they gave up on it a long time ago. They never really added any huge key features. It was kind of just like a, it was it was weird. It, it was a second life mixed with The Sims. You had your own place and you could buy stuff that were based on different things. So for example, like there was a Doctor Who pack you could buy, uh, you know, Doctor Who themed things and put it in your house and things like that. It just never really got off the ground. And it could have been something really cool. When I first heard about it, I thought it was going to be something like where you would, you know, like you start at your console and you just pop into your world. And you're in your little house and you can go outside and walk around and meet people and, you know, socialize. Or you just stay in your house. You have a console, like, in the game, like, in in your house, in the game. And then you start up your games that way instead of, you know, going to your bar. That would have been a really cool idea, but they never, they never really capitalized on it. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's pretty unfortunate. But it just seemed like I said they gave up on it a long time ago. They stopped doing major updates in general. And honestly, I only get, went in a few times and just I did all the things that you could do. And after that, I was basically done. There was a few games here and there, but they were nothing huge. They weren't first person shooters and they were RTSs and they weren't RPGs or anything like that. They weren't huge games, but they were, you know, um, little small games that you could play with people in there here and there. Other than that, it wasn't much. But the thing that bothered me the most was they seemed like they just made it a huge ad game. Like there was just ads everywhere. Like you would go into these lobbies and there would be gigantic ads for Uncharted 3 and there would be gigantic ads for, you know, movies. Like I remember I went in there when Ted, that stupid movie with that dumb bear was coming out. They had a, uh, they had like a couch you could sit on that had a TV playing the trailer over and over and over and over again. And it just seemed like they were putting these ads in to keep the servers up so people could go in, but there was nothing to do. I just, I don't know. It just seemed weird. They just turned it into an ad revenue um, kind of thing. It, it, and the thing too is that all the, all the advertisements aged really badly. So, so what would happen is you would go in and you'd see this ad of something from years ago, not years ago, like months ago, like old movies and old games, like Uncharted 3 is still in there. And it's like, why are these not updated? Because, and it's because Sony just kind of is forgetting about it. And that's why they shut it down. Sony isn't in the best financial stare right now. And they're trying to cut fat as much as they can. Uh, they're trying to make much mo as much money as they can. They're doing layoffs. They're closing servers like PlayStation Home to save as much money as they can. So that's the unfortunate thing about it. Although it was kind of a dying thing. It's kind of sad, but you know, some things got to go. It's an old thing. It never got out of beta, but things got to be done. Money has to be saved and things have to go away eventually. So thanks for watching. If you uh, want to click in the description, I have an article talking about it. There's not much to it. It's basically what I talked about. Um, but thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like gaming news. and uh, Stick around if you want to see more. Go to the channel. i got some more articles as well, some gameplay stuff. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.